Hello everyone. So today we're doing factorization of cubic polynomials. So now it is the part of calculus whereby you have to factorize you factorize the cubic. So I get the parabola you have a, you had x squared whereby you used your quadratic, but mind you, it is not grade 12. You have what? X cubed. You can't use quadratic because you have more than three terms. Okay. So let's get on with the work. For example, I have what? Let me write down my function there or my equation. X cubed minus, um, let me think, X cubed minus 3X squared minus 4X plus 12. Okay? So, the first thing that you must know, the first thing that you must do about this thing, check your last term there, which is what? 12. Okay? So, in my equation there, I have 12. So, what must you do with that 12? You must find the factors of 12 in order to factorize. Okay? So, let's continue. I'm going to do what? Find the factors of 12. I have 1 and 12. I have 2 and 6. I have 3 and 4. Okay? So, Mara, I'm going to consider what? The first ones. And you have to note that. If the... F you, we usually use the first three, ne? And if they don't work, ne, you are going to have to do what? To start using what? Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. The reason why I'm saying we must use these numbers because we are going to have to use this number so that when we substitute 1 or 2 or 3, where there is x, we must get 0. Okay? So, if you put 1 where there is x and you don't get 0, try 2. If you don't get 0, Try 3. And if you don't get 0, try minus 1. Mara, surely there will be a number that will, will do what will give you 0. And there can be more than one, uh, 2 numbers that will give you 0. Okay? So let's start. Um, I will put this thing in my calculator there. And then I will show you how to do it. Okay? Here's my calculator. Check. I have used 1. This is what I get. See, so 1, it is not going to work. Let me try using 2. Let me pause and then do 2. You see what I'm talking about? So, 1 gave me 6. So, it is not going to work because I want to get 0. So, I have used 2 as a factor of 12. It gave me what? 0. So, I'm going to use 2. So, x is equal to 2. I'm going to use x equals to 2, which is the what? The root. Okay? So, let's continue. You can use 3. Maybe you might get a 0. So, even if you use 3, even if you use 2, you are still going to get the same answer, okay? So, let's move. I'm going to use 2 for now, but you can try 3 and check if it is giving you 0. If it is giving you 0, follow the steps that I'm going to do right now, okay? So, I have checked in my calculator. I, I get 2 and 3 and minus 2. These numbers give me 0. So, you can get your values like that. So, I'm a roots. So, the roots, ne? For this equation, it is x, it is equals to 2, x is equals to 3, x is equals to minus 2. But the factors, it is what? x minus 2, x minus 3, x plus 2. Because I'm going to equate to 0 and then they'll do what? They will give me the roots. So, what do you, do you have to know about this? If you are given an, a cubic polynomial, ne? and they are saying factorize it, start by finding the factors of the last term so i have 12 there i got the factors of 12 which is what 1 and 12 2 and 6 3 and 4 but i have used 1 it gave me 6 so it is not giving me 0 i tried 2 it gave me 0 so i used i'm gonna use 2 but when i tried 3 it gave me 0 when i tried minus 2 it gave me what 0 because if these ones fail you can use the negative values okay but for now i have to tell you this we have two methods of doing this thing. I have the method of inspection and the method of what? Of synthetic division. Okay? So, I mean, I'm going to use synthetic division because inspection is tricky, but we'll do it later on. Let's start with the easier one. So, let's do synthetic division. So, synthetic division, bear in mind, if you use two, you're going to get, uh, like, you see these numbers, ne? these are already my roots for, the, for this equation. Okay, so I'll tell you more when I have read when I where I want my things to be. So, 
Synthetic division, you do your pass. This is something like a pass, you know, from grade what what. So I'm gonna start by using what two. So I'm gonna put my two here. Okay? Outside there. If my two is negative, I put it as negative. And then inside I put what? The coefficients of my in the what you call the, the equation. So the first one is what one. Don't put the cube there, please. And then it's what? Minus three. I'm gonna put minus three. Separate them at least maybe one meter. And then it's gonna be what? Minus four there. And then the last one it is what? Twelve. The first thing that you must do, drop the first number, which is one, and do what? Circle it. It's important for you to circle it. And then do what? Say two times one. Okay? So you're gonna say two times one. What do you get? It is two. You bring it up there, it is gonna be what? Two. And then you're gonna go up there by doing by adding. So it's gonna be what? Minus three plus two. What you get? Minus one. So you're gonna say minus one. You circle it again. Okay? And then when you're done, you're gonna say minus one times two again. Minus one times two is what? Minus two. You bring it up there, it is minus two. And then minus four plus uh, minus four minus two gives me what? Minus six. You circle it. Then you go there. You multiply, okay? And then, when you are done, it's going to be what? What is uh, minus 6 times 3? It is what? Minus 12. What is minus 12 plus 12? It is 0. But you don't put it 0. You do what? A dot. So, for this thing, we, we want to get 0 when you're doing synthetic division. We have to get 0. If you don't get 0, no good something is wrong. Pelalana, the reason why we said we are going to use 12 and the factors of 12 so that you can get 0, it is because we want to get 0 because of the rules of factorization of cubic polynomials so synthetic division okay you start by doing your pass which is something like that okay after that after that you do what you put the root and you will have three roots that will get two three and minus two so when i chose two i will put the coefficients of the numbers that i see there so i will have one and minus three and minus 4 and 12 and then i put what the distance between them because i want to separate them okay the first thing that i, I do i drop this one there i put it here i do what i circle it because i'm gonna use it okay after doing it i'm gonna say two times one what is two times one it is two i take this two i bring it up there it is what two but Going down, I do what I add. So it's going to be minus 3 plus 2. Minus 3 plus 2 it is what? Minus 1. After I brought it down there, I do what? I circle it again. And then I go up there. 2 times minus 1, which is what? Minus 2. But going down, you do what? You add. So minus 4 plus minus 2 it is what? Minus 6. But minus 6 times 2 it is what? Minus 12. And minus 12 plus 12 it is what? 0. Then you do what? You put that dot there. Okay? So, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. So, I think I forgot something here. So, let me just put it there. So, I'm gonna... I need to have to show you what I was using. What? the That one. The So, Lana, after getting that, I'm gonna do this. I I was using 2 already. So, it's gonna be what? X minus 2. And then it is gonna be what? AX squared plus BX plus C. Because this one is a quadratic. This quadratic... I'm going to take the coefficients where here from my uh, synthetic division. So it's going to be x minus 2. And then what is going to be inside? What is the value of a? It is x squared. So it will be 1 x squared. And then what is the second one? Minus x and then minus 6. I'm done. When you're going to uh, do your quadratic formula factorization, you're going to get 3 and minus 2. That's for sure. Because these are your roots for this equation. So... My answer is going to be what? X, it is equals to 2. And then, manje, let me do this step by step. X minus 2. And then I'm going to get X minus uh, 3. X plus 2. Okay? And then, my final answer is going to be what? X is equals to 2. Or, X is equals to 3. Or, X is equals to minus 2. We are done. So, we are going to use this values to sketch but for now you're not gonna sketch okay so factorization of cubic cubic polynomials when you are given a 
a gra- a an equation like that, you check the last term and find its factors. Then put the factors into the where there is x. So use one. If you don't get zero, try another number. If the the first three numbers are not giving you zero, try the negative numbers. But you have to have you have to get three roots. Like you have to get three numbers that gives you what zero. I'm gonna start by using two. So my tweet is what a root. So I will use synthetic division. The synthetic division and what inspection. So using synthetic division, this tweet is gonna be outside. I put my one, my minus three, my minus four, and twelve. So I I drop my one there. I say one times two it is what two. But going down I do what I add. So minus three plus two it is what minus one. I circle it because it is important. So minus one times two it is what minus two so minus four uh, plus minus two it is what minus six and then minus six times two it is what minus twelve so twelve plus minus twelve it is what zero i'll do my dot there so i know what everything is fine and then i put my numbers like this x minus two because it is a uh, x equals to two and then i put my quadratic form i put x minus two and the numbers this one is gonna be here this minus one is gonna be here this minus six is gonna be there but when i factorize i'm gonna get what x minus three and x plus two so my answer to it is what x minus three or x is equals to three or x is equals to minus two that's how you do factorization of cubic polynomials okay let's use uh, maybe three or minus two but we'll have to check another example so for the same, uh, uh, everything I'm gonna use what I need. To, I, I used two as my root, so now I'm gonna use. Let me use uh, to make it interesting. Let me use minus two. I'm gonna get the very same answer, guys. So when you will try using what three, so let's go. I'm gonna do my what synthetic division again. So let's go. Synthetic division. Okay, let's go. So you know, must I put my coefficients okay what is the first thing that i must do there i must drop down the first number so i drop down this one it's gonna be one i circle it one times minus two is what minus two so i bring this minus two up it is minus two but going down i do what i add what is minus three plus minus two it is what minus five so it is what minus five i circle it what is minus 5 times minus 2? It must be positive 10. I bring it up there. 10. But going up there, I, I going down, I do what I add. So minus 4 plus 10, it is what? It must be what? Minus 6. I circle it. And then it goes there minus... Wait. Minus 4 plus 10, it is minus 6. I think I'm wrong. It is positive 6. So that it can be 6 times minus 2, it is what? Negative 12. Because check. It is the same as saying 10 minus 4. Okay, so 12 going down 12 minus 12 is what zero already. My answer it is out, so it is gonna be x plus 2. I need to use the minus 2, so ax squared plus bx plus c, and then it's gonna be x plus 2. And then I'm gonna use the numbers I circled, so it is what x squared minus 5x plus 6. You can use your quadratic, you can use everything that it is what what. You're going to get the very same answers, guys. I mean, I'm not going to waste time. X plus 2. And then one is going to be what? X minus 3. And then what? X. What is the last answer? X minus 2 again. Because it's going to be X is equals to minus 2. Or X is equals to 3. Or X is equals to 2. Remember... We are going we have to get our roots. So 2, 3 minus 2, 2, 3 minus 2. Okay. So that's how you do what? Synthetic division. We are gonna do more videos of what? Inspection, guys. So just for fun and everything, you can try this one. Let me do this one. Example x cubed minus x squared plus 16x plus 16. Okay. So thank you very very much, guys. Synthetic division. It's just like this. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you very much.